Hey everyone! So today is the third video of my Saks Saks Off Fifth haul, and I'm gonna be showing you what I picked up from Chloe. So keep watching! So like I mentioned in my two previous videos, this is a continuation of my Saks Saks Off Fifth haul. Both were having great sales, so I definitely took full advantage of it. And I purchased a good amount and I thought it would be a little too much to combine into one video. So I decided to break it up by designer. So that way you guys don't have to like sit through a whole video just to see the actual designer you want to see. So as always, if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you so much for watching. My name is Sue Mei. I typically do videos on lifestyle, luxury, and everyday things in between. So if that's what you're into, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So in this video, this is a sad off fifth purchase and they were having a good sale as they always do and then they had a discount code on top of the sale so it's not too many items this time but I mean technically it's just two but I have four items to show you technically and it's just shoes basically so just a little background um, I actually have never heard of Chloe I know crazy I feel like I've been living under a rock but I actually learned about Chloe the brand through YouTube so thank you YouTube for spending all of my money and then I came across the Chloe Susanna boot and at first I wasn't a fan I thought it was a lot going on but as I continued to see it on Instagram on YouTube it started to grow on me and I started to get a little obsessed with it so I think what I liked about the Chloe Susanna boot was basically the studding I thought it was beautiful the way it was done it was micro studding and the belt buckles and you know everything about it was just so pretty and then I went on to Saks on Fifth and noticed that they had Chloe shoes. And then I saw something that was very reminiscent of the Susanna boot. So here it is. So this was the first purchase that I made. Remember, I made multiple purchases. So comes in this white box. It's a little beat up, but you know, this is Saks All Fifth. So now I'm gonna open it. So it did come with the two Chloe dust bags, which I was impressed because usually Saks All Fifth it's a hit or miss. Clothes and shoes and items that end up at Saks All Fifth, like there was a journey getting there. Not everything that originally came with the item probably made it with the item, but these look like it came intact, which was pretty amazing. So I feel like this is like a cousin to the Susanna boot. And here it is. This is the Chloe Ivy slip-on sneaker. Isn't it cute? It comes with the silver hardware. I like how casual it is. This will go cute with jeans. So I ordered it in a size 38 because I'm typically a size eight, eight and a half, depending on the shoe and thought, you know, this should work. And I was really excited to get this. So when I got this, I immediately ripped it open slipped it on and realized it was too tight. Oh, that was so disappointing. I tried so hard to slip my foot into this. I've never tried this hard to slip my feet into like a shoe like I've done with this shoe. So I'm not sure if this is like a Chloe sizing thing. Again, this is like my first Chloe piece. So if you were interested in getting something like this, I would definitely size a half size up or like a full size up in order to fit. So I was devastated that it wouldn't fit. I hopped back on to Saks All Fifth and it was completely all sold out. I think the only thing left was like a size six. So I realized that I needed a half size to a full size up, went back onto the website and realized that they didn't even have half sizes. So I needed a nine, but then it was so tight. I figured, you know what? Maybe I need a 10. That's how desperate I was. One thing that I will mention about Saks and Saks All Fifth, if an item is out of stock and then they have that little thing underneath saying like, hey, want to be notified when that item comes back in stock? Every time without fail, I'll get an alert from them like so quick quick, I jump on and I'm able to get my items. So that's exactly what happened. I put in for a size 9 and a size 10. And then I got the alert for the size 10. The size 10 came in this box, Lord and Taylor. I was a little concerned, but the shoe was in there. Wasn't as pretty. There were no shoe dust bags and it wasn't even the right box. It was two sizes up. So 
here is the size 8 and here is the size 9. It's a good amount bigger. I thought, oh my god, they're way too big. I could only laugh at my desperation. Obviously, I was able to slip my foot in, but it was definitely sliding around. So now I had a size 8 and a size 10 that neither fit. One's too small, one's too big. And then just when I was about to give up and also on the very last day of the coupon code, I got a text. My size 9s were in. So I immediately picked it up, punched in my coupon code, and got my size 9s. And fingers crossed that this had to work. I mean, the 8s were too small, the 10s were too big. This was like a Goldilocks story for me, and I knew I needed a happy ending. And here they are. So cute. And guess what? They fit perfectly. I am so, so excited. They're really cute and they're really my style, basically. I, Like I've mentioned before, I'm very casual. So this is a very well-made shoe and the leather is nice and soft. The detailing is in the silver where it has like the print in the front and then a print on the side here. The other side is plain. They have the logo in the back and on the bottom looks like this. It says Chloe, made in Italy. The stitching is very nice and even and it has two elastics on the side so you can slip your foot in a little easier and the inside is like a cream type of a leather and then there's like a little pull tab here which actually is very helpful to pull on the shoe so now that I found the shoes that fit me correctly I'm gonna do some mod shots close-ups how it looks on so that way you could see how cute these are on so this is what it looks like on so you can see a full body shot of what it looks like with like a regular outfit so i just got like a express portofino shirt on and i think these are abercrombie jeans i believe so these are really cute on the only thing i probably would be concerned with but that's like with any shoe is the creasing that's gonna probably happen you can see it's already kind of happening if i do do this a lot but that's life with shoes it's a little wider i don't have wide feet i don't think but i like how there's a lot of space it doesn't feel narrow but they're very comfortable on right now back here feels a little stiff i'm sure with time it will loosen up and yeah i think they're really cute on what do you guys think so i have one last shoe to show you and here they are in an unmarked box but these are still chloe shoes and i want to say just like those ivy slip-on sneakers i just showed you are i consider a cousin to the susanna boot i feel like this is like a half sister with that being said so here they are like at first glance what is going on with these buckles very very Susanna like so these are the <laughs> Chloe Kyle sneaker and when I saw these I'm like wait a second these look just like the Chloe Susanna boots but in sneaker form and like a converse chuck type of form and I'm like I have to know what these are about so these were interesting definitely love the studding and then of course the belt buckles here those are the reasons why I like the Susanna boot wasn't sure whether or not I like this scallop I know that's like one of her signature things I feel I've seen her other shoes have this scallop type of design but I guess this makes it a little more feminine but I wasn't sure how I feel and I still kind of don't know how I feel there's a lot going on in this shoe I actually just tried it on for my husband and I thought he was gonna think this was crazy looking and he actually thought these were really cool and kind of cute this has the gold detailing with the little micro studs it has that type of flower pattern there's three straps that are all removable even on the straps they have the micro studs that go across all in this brassy gold color and then all of the shoelace holes but there is no shoelaces <laughs> also have that brass material and then the front of the shoe looks like this where the scalloping does continue all the way through but then it also has this extra rubber piece as well the other side is plain there is no studding but it does have the two vent holes here and is also in brass and then the logo is in the back it's very subtle and the bottom is a I want to say like a reddish brown color and it just says Chloe on the bottom and in the interior is also like this cream color and it's like also so like a leather material overall another really well-made shoe but i think these would look really cute with jeans with shorts a skirt 
sundresses. It's very casual chic. I am aware that this is probably very past season, but I know they still sell these on certain sites and people are actually selling them pre-loved as well. So now I'm going to do some, I guess, mod shots and some close-ups while I'm wearing it, just so you can see what it looks like on. So I think these are really cute too. Here's what it looks like close up. I think at certain angles, I feel like it looks cuter at times, but they're super comfortable. I don't feel like there will be a break in period. I feel like there's so much toe wiggle room. I'm gonna unbuckle them just so you could see what it looks like with one buckle off. This is how some people wear it. It's funny from this angle, the scallops don't bother me as much. Like I don't even, I hardly even see the scalloping. I think when I'm holding it so close to my face and I notice all the scalloping, but from my angle right now, I don't even notice. I just see the awesome studding. So let me know what you guys think. So I'll try to see if I could find these shoes anywhere else and link it below in the description. Definitely gonna be keeping this one and I'm kind of on the fence with these. And I'm looking at it on the camera, it looks so cute. <laughs> so, uh... I don't know. Let me know, guys, what you guys think. So Saks Off Fifth and Saks both have a 30-day return policy. As for returns, you have about 30 days. You could either return it in-store or you could ship it back, but I do believe they charge a $9.95 return shipping fee. But I have a ShopRunner account, so that saves me on the return shipping, and it also gives me two-day free shipping. If you want to know more about ShopRunner, I'll link it down below. So that's it for my Chloe reveal. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you have any questions, and which shoe you guys think I should keep. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.